This morning you get to just hear me think. My spirit was active all night again, thinking and learning while I slept. Then I woke up early and couldn't sleep. I was watching Ponyo before bed, and I guess you could say I live this life with eternal life in mind. Though it's more to me than that. As a Bible-believing Christian, there is so much prophecy to ponder. And with the Holy Spirit and dreams and visions, especially lately, I feel like I am seeing symbolism everywhere. Watching Ponyo this time with my spirit constantly yearning for heaven, for my eternal home, it very much reminded me of that journey. It seems to me the story starts by showing a mortal man tinkering with history. No comment there. With my Bible-believing eyes, I see Ponyo as the Bride of Christ, and all her latter siblings as the remnant of Israel. Ponyo gets carried on a journey, up, to another world. She spots a mountain and a home and a perfect match in Soske, which means complete, help, or mediate. Amen. Our helpmate, our mediator, will complete us. Amen. In order for Ponyo to go on this journey with Sosuke, she needs his blood to transform her. Yeah. On her way up to the surface, a huge net almost catches her, and she gets trapped in a jar, but Sosuke frees her. Fujimoto her human relation, left behind, searches for her frantically, having no idea where she's gone. She cuts all ties with him and receives a new name from her beloved. Her journey is now with him. It shows him protecting her while she rests a little while. And as this is happening, we see the residual effects of destruction, people caring for each other after a disaster. You see, this is what really got me thinking. When Ponyo was taken up, it was at the same time as maybe 144,000 were transformed into fish. Yes, fish. A symbol for Christianity. It also seems a small and lonely volcano was set off and it caused a tsunami. Mm-hmm. Look at the giant moon, like in our dreams of late. And the ships out to sea, which I know some of you have mentioned from the Bible. And this beautiful giant body, also made up of multiple fish, adorned like a bride, rising up out of many waters that have broken forth. The movie even shows the stars falling from the sky and speaks of a dangerous imbalance here on earth after this event. The Antichrist will be angry the bride escapes and his time is now numbered. Of course, the darkest part, in an ominous tunnel, is right before the dawn. Then a piece of one world is brought to another and everything is restored. Health is renewed and life begins again. Sosuke says he loves all the Ponyos, like Jesus, but of course, we can choose not to love him back. There is a warning that if we don't pass the test, we might turn into sea foam, but all you need to be passed over is to be covered by the blood of Jesus and love him with your whole heart, mind, soul, and strength. I see him in everything now, because I long for him so. In just any old song, I change the words to him. In a sunrise, in a number, in a dream. He is my everything, and I will constantly be waiting for him. I hope you see that he loves you, too. P.S. Look, it's me running to Jesus.